So I've always been fascinated with this idea that everything is art. Meaning that whatever it is that you do, whatever the profession is, when you do it at a high enough level, you begin to see artistry. And a lot of people talk about seeing the matrix when things begin to slow down, where a task was daunting or even impossible to the untrained mind. But to the artist, it's a new challenge, a new level of artistry. When a trained basketball player is in the zone and they're able to weave in and out of traffic and be able to score when it counts most. Or a trained surgeon when they operate on a deformed cranium and they view it as a sculpture and they not only have to make it functional, but they have to make it aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Henry Moore says that to be an artist is to believe in life. And that's why I believe we all innately crave creativity. Everyone craves expressions of thoughts and words and to communicate, to move, to sing and to dance. And that's why when you listen to certain pieces of music, it's able to move you into an emotional state. And that's why when you watch inspiring films and for a few seconds you believe the world can actually be a better place. If life could be made into an analogy, I would make it into a blank canvas so that you could be a painter. You could choose the colors to paint the picture that resonates with your mind. And as an artist, you could choose the style that you want the world to remember you for. I think through this type of art, through this type of work, we can really find true meaning of our own life. And I just think that's a really cool idea. One of my favorite writers, Neil Gaiman, says that we should go and make interesting mistakes. Make amazing mistakes. Make fantastic mistakes, break the rules, leave the world a better place than when you were here. Make good art. So the only question is, what is your art?